Okay, today we're going to work with fractions. You're going to have to pay really close attention because fractions can be tough. So you're going to have to pay close attention. And I want to start out with making sure that you know the vocabulary so that when we talk about these, you know the parts of the uh, fraction that we're talking about. You got a piece of paper to write these on. And how many of you remember to bring your resource book today? All righty, we got resource books. Okay, if we're going to talk about fractions, we're going to need to know what a fraction is. So I would like you to find the glossary in the back of your book and see if you can find what fraction is. Good, you found the yellow pages with the glossary. Nice, quick work. What's a fraction? How can we divide them if we don't know what they are? Okay, what page is it on? 369. All right, and what does it say? You want to go ahead and read it since you're there? A number in the form AB or AB fractions can be used to make parts of a whole compared to quantities or to represent division. For example, two thirds can be thought of as two divided by three, two numerator and denominator. All righty, that's a long thing. We had to shorten that up to get it written down, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and let's put it this way for fraction. How about a number in the form AB? Because that reminds you, AB stands for number. So a number in the form of AB. The middle column is the page number you found it on, in case you have to look it up again, which was 369. And you guys need your papers here. Yes, you can put it on here. There you go. A number in the form AB. That's the shortened version. You can use the shortened version or you can use the longer versions in your book.